God is faithful, even when we are not. It says in Psalm 100, verse 5, For the Lord is good, and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I was recently praying for some specific circumstances in my life when I started thinking of all sorts of reasons why God should not answer my prayers. I started thinking thoughts like, well, if you'd done this or that, then God would surely answer these prayers. And, well, if you hadn't done these other things, then God would answer my prayers. Then God reminded me that these were complete lies and attacks from the enemy. God loves us so unconditionally that we can never fully understand it. He delights to bless us and answer our prayers. The Bible says in Psalm 147, verse 11, The Lord delights in those who fear Him, who put their hope in His unfailing love. Yes, there are consequences for what we do and for what we don't do. For instance, if I eat too much, I will become overweight. If I'm selfish, then others may not like me. If I don't do a good job with my work, then I most likely won't advance in my work. If I don't spend time with my family or my friends, then I won't grow in those relationships. And of course, if I don't spend time with God, then I won't grow in that relationship either. But these consequences are different from the love and blessings of God. These are natural, real-life consequences of the natural world. Here is an analogy to share a little perspective. If it was Christmas Eve and a young boy had been misbehaving all day and all evening, he may have to do several timeouts or even be denied special treats throughout the day as a consequence of his behavior. But if he has loving parents, they would not deny him the joys of Christmas morning and all that comes with that. They would love him way too much to take that away. Yes, there would be consequences for his actions, but they would still want to bless him and shower him with gifts to make it a memorable and special occasion. Of course, this analogy greatly pales in comparison to God's goodness, but it hopefully shows a small fraction of how God feels about us. It says in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 9 through 11, Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? God is not out to trick us into losing his blessings through the minutia of do's and don'ts. He is our true Father, and we are his children that he so loves. He is always on our side, cheering for us to win. It says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, how great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. Yes, there are natural consequences for what we do, but we can never decrease the love God has for us and His delight to bless us. God is always faithful, even when we are not, to love us unconditionally. Be encouraged. If this video gave you encouragement or hope, please let us know in the comments and give it a like and share it with others. If you would like to see more encouraging videos like this one, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. These videos are created to encourage you in your walk with Jesus and to grow you closer to Him. To further assist you in growing your faith, we have included links to selected resources in the video description. 
Thank you for watching, and we look forward to hearing about your spiritual growth and your prayer requests in the video comments. Be encouraged.